Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over exactly what an IMEI stands for and what it is used for when looking um, to buy or sell your iPhone or Galaxy device. So let's get into the video. So if you're a very beginner and you don't know too much about a phone, IMEI is, is pretty much the base um, identifier for every single phone. It can either be, they have them for the iPhones, they have them for your standard T-Mobile, Verizon, whatever carrier phone, um, as well as like your Samsung Galaxy phone. So um, each phone has a unique identifier and no two phones will have the same IMEI. And IMEI actually stands for International Mobile Equipment Identity. So as I specified before, no two phones will actually have that same identity. Therefore, you can distinguish differences between each of each phone um, through different websites by having that IMEI. So um, what can you use the IMEI for? If you're on this channel and you're watching this video and you're a buyer or and a reseller of iPhones, um, IMEI is probably the biggest thing you need to know um, in terms of buying and selling iPhones. So you're gonna need to use the IMEI to kind of checklist your phone. So um, every time you're looking at an ad and somebody's willing to agree on a price, you always need to ask what is the IMEI of the phone? Um, and what that basically means is you're gonna be checking for a couple of things. So the first thing is you can tell if a phone's blacklisted. So um, that kind of coincides with lost or stolen. So if somebody loses their phone, they can call up their, their the company and be like, yo, we lost the phone. And then the phone will get blacklisted. So if anybody picks it up, they can never use the phone. And once blacklisted, um, the phone can never be used with any carrier inside the United States. I know some countries um, will take the phone, so you can resell them on eBay. That's why I do. Um, I just assume they're always lost. Um, but a lot of the times people will try to sell you phones where they're stolen and just say it's lost where they found it. But either way, price it as a bad, bad IMEI phone. Um, it doesn't affect it if it's lost or quote unquote stolen. So um, with also the IMEI, you can check if the phone is financed, if it has a um, balance on it. These are very key factors that will affect the price of the phone. Um, and there's a couple websites. So um, I basically use three main websites to check every single phone that I buy. So first would be Swappa.com. That's kind of my first checklist. You put in the IMEI number um, into the website and it'll tell you um, if it's clean, um, it's not blacklisted, if it's ready to be activated. Sometimes Swappa isn't always um, accurate. So I'll first go to Swappa, make sure nothing's wrong, and then I'll go to a website called um, IMEIPro.info. I'll then put in the same IMEI into that website. Um, you just need to fill out one of those capture things and then press check. Um, and this is kind of the most legit service that I use. Um, and these are all free websites. So you go to that, put in the IMEI, and it'll tell you um, exactly if it falls under those categories that I mentioned before. And if you really don't know um, the gigabyte of the phone, um, you can then go to a website called IMEI.info. Um, I think they're run by the same company, but it's two different websites. And basically, you'll put in the IMEI, it'll tell you exactly what type of phone it is, the model number, and also tell you the gigabytes, which is definitely a price differentiator with iPhones. Because if you're reselling on eBay, um, and you, somebody tells you 64, but it's actually 32, you're gonna get a return because it wasn't what you specified. So I always check every time I meet with one of these phones. And for me, I make sure I check all of this before I even meet the person. Um, and then I will later on go and check the IMEI again in person, making sure they didn't give me a different IMEI to look like it was clean. And that has happened to me before. So always check it before and after. So, um, and this is also goes for, if maybe you're not an iPhone buyer or reseller, but maybe you're looking just to buy an iPhone. You shouldn't definitely know what an IMEI is. It's very, it's not a complicated thing, but not many people know about it. Um, based on the people I sell to in the local market of Tucson, Arizona, there isn't a breadth of knowledge on what IMEI is and I see a lot of people reselling phones because they say somebody scammed me because I didn't realize there was an iCloud on it or it's actually blacklisted. So for you resellers out there, it's definitely something you should buy, should take into consideration probably the most out of anybody. So again, if you're a reseller or just looking to buy an iPhone, how do you find the IMEI? So the IMEI can actually be found uh, um, in two different ways. One, if you take out the SIM card, um, on the tray of the SIM card, you'll actually find the IMEI 
um, listed on on the SIM card. It's very small, um, but if you just get like a magnifying glass or a bright light, and put it over it, you'll be able to see the IMEI of the phone. I'm actually not sure if it's on all the type, all phones and all generations, um, but I know it is on like the sixes. I've seen at least those. Um, and then another way. So this is probably the the best and easiest way to do it.